What's up, everyone? My name is Mitchell Tierney. I'm joined by Jeffrey Pinesker and Michael Singh. We host Waking the Red Weekly, and today we're debuting a new MLS Prediction League segment here on the Parlay. Each week, each of us will pick a marquee MLS matchup and tell you who we think will win and why. We'll be competing against each other as well, so you'll find out very quickly whose word you can take as gospel and whose picks you should probably just fade. Um, But let's start with you, Jeff, this week. What game do you have circled on the MLS schedule that uh, you think people should be watching? Uh, We've got a nice little wrinkle as a consequence of uh, COVID scheduling. We've got uh, the two New York teams, the Red Bulls and uh, the Citizens. They're playing the they're playing twice in the same week. Uh, They meet at Harrison, New Jersey at Red Bull Arena on the Wednesday. And my pick is on the Saturday. Uh, they come back for a rematch at Yankee Stadium, 7.30 p.m. Uh, we all know about the uh, the turbo pitch at uh, Yankee Stadium. So I am going, my pick is going to be NYCFC. They're, they're on a bit of a, a, a slow streak. They're uh, a bit uh, bee, bee stung in, in front of net, but I have faith that uh, Tati Castellanos, Valentin Castellanos, is going to score a bunch of goals, maybe one or two, and uh, three points to New York City FC. That's a that's a decent show, Jeff. I I don't know what it is about that Red Bulls team playing. Maybe it's the style of play, like their high press and everything. But something tells me they have something up their sleeve when playing at Yankee Stadium. They they seem like they're built for that type of pitch. You know, that one of those grindy gritty games. But we'll see. Like it's it's going to be their second time playing New York City FC in a week, as you mentioned. And New York City FC are clearly the better team so far this season. So Absolutely. when you play someone twice in a row, I think it kind of balances it out. And, and perhaps you're right there. So we'll see. My pick of the week. I'm going to take... I forgot who I was taking. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got that was it. My, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Anyway, they should keep that edit okay. in. Keep that edit in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Get out of here. Mm-hmm. All right. So my pick of the week, I'm going to go with the New England Revolution t- uh, beating uh, the Orlando City. Oh, okay, let me do that again. My pick of the week, I'm going to go with New England Revolution beating Orlando City at Gillette Stadium on Saturday. New England Revolution, they're well on their way to the Supporters' Shield by far. They're a team that's actually gone unbeaten in 12 of their last 13 matches which is absolutely ridiculous in, in Major League Soccer and the parody that exists in this league. They have Carlos Heelback, who is probably the, the leading candidate to win Most Valuable Player. Tejan Buchanan is, I mean, we, we all know what Tejan Buchanan is doing up here in Canada. He continues to grow. He continues to make a difference. You have Adam Buxa, who's just scoring goals for fun, along with Gustavo Bo. And this, this this is a team that I, I believe won't be held off the score sheet against uh, Orlando City, who they're a team that's kind of, they're, they're struggling right now. They, I think they've lost a couple matches in a row and they're, they're in jeopardy right now of falling out of a top four spot in the Eastern Conference. So two good teams in the Eastern Conference going head to head, look for England to, or New England to come out on top. As Mike I mean, going for an yeah. easy W. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to go. He's trying to go one and zero here. Uh, I like, picked I the mean, Seattle Sounders to be an MLS cap. No, uh, uh, one thing about New England though is Bo is getting is going into a downswing, and and his body language is is getting kind of negative on the pitch, and he does have the potential to drag the whole team down with him if he if he loses his form. So I would keep your eye on him. Uh, potentially underwhelming this weekend, and maybe, maybe uh, given a given three points or at least a result away to to a struggling Orlando side. There's your experts at predictions and body language, Jeffrey P. Nasker, <laughs> coming here for you um, to help you out. But I'll I'll round it out with CF Montreal. They have a very busy week here. Um, they're playing, of course, HFX Wanderers in the Canadian Championship, and they have to travel to Nova Scotia to do that. Then they're traveling down to Columbus to play the crew. Uh, despite sitting 10th in the table, the crew actually have been quite good at home this season. They're 6-3-3, three, and three, and this is pretty much a must-win game for them. So I'm taking the crew in this matchup. Uh, Miguel Barry's been fantastic for them recently. He has five goals in, in 10 matches so far this season. Kind of been a, a little bit of a surprise for a Columbus team that's struggled a little bit to score goals. So, uh, you know, as good as CF Montreal has been, and again, they've been one of the surprise teams of, of the season here. They also have a game coming up against Michael Singh's New England on uh, on Wednesday following. So uh, I think this is just a tough matchup for them in a tough spot. And I'm, I'm taking Columbus. 
Hey, they they've been struggling so far this season, but this could be one of those games like like you mentioned, important for the playoff race. And you know, Columbus Crew is reigning MLS Cup champions. Maybe they yep. find an extra gear here late in the season. So I'm with you there. And anytime we can root against Montreal, I'm for it. Let's do it. Well, there you go. There are our picks. Uh, we'll find out very soon if we can label them expert picks or not. But regardless, thanks so much for watching.